Good evening and welcome to Carter Shed. So we're on to another challenge video. This one was set by the top bloke that is James Fixit Fingers. The crux of the challenge, if I remember right, from James was to build a jig. It could be a jig that you could use for a specific task or it could be, I think he said, a replacement for something in the workshop to do a specific job like a cross club sled or something similar to that. I've decided to make a jig that has a specific use. Well, actually, two specific uses. Two birds, one jig, if you like. I'm not going to give away what the final project will be, so I guess now's a good time to say subscribe, so you can find out in the next video. I will, however, tell you the two things I need this jig to do. The first job it needs to do is to allow me to cut a v-groove in the workpieces using my router. It needs to be in the same position time and time again. The groove needs to be in the center of the workpiece and stops about 40 millimeters from each end of the workpiece. The second job the jig needs to do is to act as a drill guide to give me the exact same position for holes over and over again. So at the moment I'm working on the first job of the jig. To get the repeatableness of the groove, I've marked out the side of the jig, drilled two holes, and I've just used a scroll saw to cut out that channel. This channel will be used to keep the router in the right place and also provide the positive stops on either end of the workpiece. I can just use some glue to get the two sides of the jig glued to the base. To allow me to use my router with the dust collection, I just need to cut a curve out on the end of the jig. So I get it marked out and then I can use the bandsaw to cut it out. And then I can use the one inch belt sander just to tidy all the edges up. So this is maybe a good time to plug the ultimate bandsaw stand. I'm using it for the first time after completing it in the last video. It's a mobile stand with space for five tools. It's all got dust collection going to each tool. It's all powered through the dust collector. So as soon as you turn on a tool, everything powers up dust collector, tool, light. Um, it's got storage in it as well. If you're interested, I'll put a link above so you can have a look and check that video out. So these circular plywood discs are off cut from making all the blast gates for the ultimate bandsaw stand. Here I'm just gluing them up to create a big handle that's used to lock the router into position but also control it while it's cutting the groove. And now we're on to the second job of the jig which was to be a drill guide to cut repeatable holes. So I've drilled four because I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to have them centered to the workpiece or offset slightly. So that's why we've got the four in there but they'll be able to be used as a repeatable drill guide. And that's the jig pretty much done. I'm just going to tidy up that handle for controlling the router, put some contours on it, give it a sand, give the jig a paint and it's job done. So as I said before, if you want to see what the jig's actually going to be used to create, make sure you subscribe so you can see it in the next video. Thanks for taking the time to check this out. Make sure you check all the other entries into Wood Jigs 21 and good evening.